This, ladies and gentlemen, uh, y'all recognize this center panel, the center console, Dodge Avenger, right? Um, now this was, I don't know if this was towed in or not. It won't go over, it won't move, it won't go over 10 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour. Yeah, and the little flashing lightning bolt is on. I'm thinking, from what I'm told, yeah, all kinds of lights on. What I'm told, somebody had a, this car had a throttle body code and somebody replaced the throttle body. Now, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the throttle body on most of these products have been revised, rebuilt, redone, re-everything. So, if you get a new throttle body, especially an OEM, you're going to have to redo the wiring. Okay, the connector, the wiring harness that go to the throttle body will have to be updated as well. All right, which means you're going to have to cut the old harness out and go in with a new harness. Now, from my understanding, they brought it here so we can initialize it. Or not initialize, reset ETC. This is a electronic throttle control system, guys. There's no more throttle cable. There's no more gas pedal pressing and the cable transmit movement to the throttle none of that it's all electronically controlled so this has the etc etc setup electron throttle control all right so from time to time that that would mean a matter of fact let me say this that would if you have electronic throttle body you're gonna have to have an electronic uh accelerator pedal right so yes it is electronic as well no more tps no more uh yeah things like that that relates to throttle all of that is going you can no longer go under your hood and rev your car up um, um, um. yes those are out so if uh for any reason you replace a throttle body that throttle body have to be learned to the car to the accelerator pedal to the engine a lot of things guys uh, i want to say it's called initialized but it may not be not it may not be called that. It may just be a uh, relearn. Uh, relearn the electronic ETC. Okay. Yes. That means you're just essentially marrying the throttle body to the car. So this was told over here for that to happen. All right. And that's, I think, oh, I used to think, maybe I'm wrong, but every scan to, decent scan to have that capability. But I don't know. People told their stuff to the shop for, uh, stranger thing so i'm gonna pot up my system and try to do just that now when you do an electronic throttle control it's gonna come back pass or fail i don't know what i'm gonna find because i don't know if it's gonna pass or fail all right uh i'm talking too much so let me get out um uh, grab my pod do this I'm, I'm gonna need my device to actually go through this procedure so i would not be able to film that part but I'll come back and talk to y'all after I'm done with that. All right, stay tuned. I'll be right back. All righty, guys. That is a no-go. This thing fell. So what we need to do is let's go outside. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that simple. Sometimes you can get lucky, get a real simple job. Sometimes you will not get lucky, and you will have to deal with stuff like this. So as far as this throttle body, let's go under here and see uh, what is it. it uh oh so they did replace it oh man hold tight guys now oh guys yes this is the one that required yes guys if you don't now based off the fault codes that i'm getting i'm gonna um uh, i'm gonna show a picture run a picture by these fault codes because they i'm seeing open circuit or uh, shorted the ground shorted this I want to think this damn uh, thing is simply wired wrong, guys. You got to be careful with this, guys. I'm a big uh, believer, firm believer in uh, the uh, dealer, uh, dealer connect wiring connects that shows the connector and the wiring, okay, as opposed to... Now, it's going to come with instructions in the box, so a lot of people go by that. The very first one I did, it was wrong. I, I, the wiring colors didn't match and what they told me to send wires to did not match so the car never left it's not that it came back never left because i couldn't get it to program here's my thing they got it i guarantee they got it wired wrong guys so i'm gonna 
go talk to the customer and see. And first, I'm gonna recommend that we just simply uh, rewire this thing the right way. Now, JT, how you know it's wired wrong? Uh, because I'm basing it off the codes I'm getting. All right, and I know it's easy to do. If this guy, I don't know who did it, but if, if he could be a, a good electrician, he could be a type that follow instructions. Uh, like I say, it's not his fault, especially if he followed the instruction and it's still wrong. The instructions are wrong. So if you get one, guys, just be careful. Uh, try to pull up the diagram manually off the computer. That's what I'm gonna do. So let me grab, let me pull up, load up, and grab the diagram and see what is wrong, all right? Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Yeah, so mainly what I'm trying to do is try to compare this with the actual um, diagram off um, the database, okay? I don't know how or if this I don't know how this happens, but it happens to a lot of guys here in the shop. <laughs> Talk about bringing us down to earth. We think we're doing everything right, wiring and soldering, just to find out. We got a couple of pins off. So let me get on the computer and figure out what I need to do, guys. All right, Stay guys, tuned. here we go. I have the, this is the paper that I got out of a new box. Now this is showing a connector of the, the, the new wiring harness, right? This picture here that I have put up on the computer is the old, it's the one we're getting rid of. All right, so one thing I see off the bat may be a problem. Like if you look at the wiring diagrams uh, on here, cavity one is K124, PM1 K124. Now let's look at two on the old one, K922, supposed to be in PN2. On this one, K922 is at PN6. So I don't know if they got these that's where I have to that's why I had to pull this up now I can go to the car and make sure it all makes sense all right so let me do just that guys stay tuned all right guys let's compare what they have to what it's supposed to be according to this pin one which is we're gonna make the connector look like the picture pin one should be a dark blue and a gray wire all right pin one is this one on the end this one right here Let's trace this all the way down to right here. Now, dark blue and gray, is that dark blue and gray? Yep, looks like PN1 is right. Okay, let's go to PN2. Should be dark blue and green. There's wire 2. Wow, guys. That's going to, can y'all see that? That's going to brown and light blue. Going to pin two. No, 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 pin two. Dark blue, what is GM? GM, GM, that's not right. Green maybe? Dark blue, hold on, brown and dark blue should be on six guys and that's on the end so what's in six? Oh no green and brown guys yes they got these two oh dark blue dark brown or dark blue it might be dark blue they got these two mixed up guys all right let me finish let me let me do this all right, <laughs> this ain't right. Yeah, I knew it was, I knew it was wired wrong. I just got to find out which ones. Hopefully, they didn't get them all wrong. But we gonna all fix right, it, guys. Stay back. tuned. Um, I pretty much got it all figured out, wrapped up. I had a brain freeze for a minute, so instead of cutting these and splicing them to where they're supposed to be, just simply open the connector up and uh, bring out the pins <laughs> and just put them all in the right space like it's supposed to be on here. I did find three wrong, and I found three in the right spots. So. That's where we're at, guys. Now I should be able to initialize or relearn the ETC, and this car should be wrapped up. So let me finish this. So because I cut two wires before I thought of this, I have a little work to do. So I'm going to have to solder and heat shrink to um, 
um, heat shrink tube this up. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. Alrighty, guys, there you go. I have set or relearned ETC. Look at that, no lights. Got my throttle back, and I can now rev over. Um, I don't know. I can now go over 30 miles an hour and rev over a thousand RPM. Uh, like I say, the ETC was off whack. It was wired in wrong. Y'all saw that. I got it all straightened out simply because I went to dealer connect. Now, what I'm thinking, they went off the connector. That might have been an aftermarket throttle body, but it doesn't matter. They went off the connector and based that. It's six pins on the original connector. They just pulled them out one at a time. One, two, three, four. Yes, and they went back in with the new connector that way, or they wired it in that way. Doing it that way is wrong, guys. That's why I literally had to go to the wiring diagram and find out where circuit K22 or something like that, where it go. Does it go in pin 3, pin 4, pin 5? I will not know until I got that information. I got that information, wired it correctly. Yeah, they're good to go now. So I am done, guys. What's the moral of the story? I guess, uh, like I say, the job is fairly easy. Replacing the throttle body is easy. Wiring in or splicing in a new connector is fairly easy. The only hardest part is about it. Hardest part about it is <laughs> making sure you're wiring it correctly. Yes, that's a task in itself. So that is an important task. Yeah. So you really got to get that part on track. I got the car fixed, guys. I'm happy to deliver the car. This is a wrap. That's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching.